as long as we keep an idea in our head, we over glorify it. We think it's just like this wonderful thing and it's it's the only one of a kind and it's just so easy to get done. Hello world, my name is Artemis and welcome to the vlog. This is a space for anybody looking to reinvent their life. You see this hill back here? Not very big, right? But I literally just spent like 20 minutes trying to get up there with my camera in tow. Um, <laughs> probably another 15 minutes going down it because I tried to get a real nice vantage point from up there. And as I got up there, I realized that eh, it wasn't as good. Took me a little while to get back down. There's this principle in life that I see confirmed more and more about ideas versus execution, about what our plan may look like in our head and what it actually looks like when we, when we put our effort into it. The problem with keeping everything in our head is that we don't know what we don't know. There's actually a book about that, it's called The Black Swan. Highly recommended read. As long as we keep an idea in our head, we over glorify it. We think it's just like this wonderful thing and it's, it's the only one of a kind and it's just so easy to get done. And we often think that the only thing that stands between our idea and us making it a success is some little hang up. It's usually some lame excuse about not having enough money, about not having enough time, about not knowing enough. But the idea is great. It's just like climbing up that hill. Until you try it, you don't know how easy it is, even though it may look really simple. Once you're able to stand up there, knowing that you've put in the effort, knowing that you've executed on your idea, you're able to measure to see whether that idea was good. Not in your head. As long as that idea is only in your head, it'll always look great. As long as the idea is still in your head, you will always minimize the chances of it failing. An idea is only as good as the amount of passion and the amount of courage that it gives you to put it into action. I think we owe it to ourselves to do something with those ideas that are in our head because we do them a big disservice just by keeping them locked in there. What this is? This is an idea that's has been put to use. As long as they're in the tree, all they do is get consumed by birds, you know? And you know where that goes. Once they fall to the ground, they're able to do some good. Your idea, your idea is a seed just like this one. It has to go into the ground. It has to find fertile soil. We have to stop glorifying our ideas, get out of our head and get our hands dirty. Or our shoes. And we go up that hill. It comes down to challenging our ideas because we, we never know how good they are until we try them. And I tell you one more thing, we have to challenge our preconceptions because most of those are baloney. And challenging our preconceptions is where it really gets important and where we can change the direction of our life completely. How do you know if what you believe about life, about yourself, about God, about all the important things in life, how do you know those are true if you've never challenged those thoughts? <laughs>